I was an absolute nightmare child. Um, In so what way? I was just hectic and busy and... You know, my, my dad was, my dad's a builder, so my dad was refatching the roof and I jumped <laughs> off the scaffolding when I was sort of two years old, so... <laughs> my mum and dad are from a very sort of humble background and very, very sort of normal background, whatever normal is. Um, they, they're from Bolton, so up north, so they've very much got that uh, working class mentality and just to say crack on really so my mum and dad wanted to sort of channel my energy into um something and rugby was sort of my calling really when i was five years old i cried my eyes out the first time i went there and then i absolutely loved it i loved the sort of camaraderie and the social aspect of rugby then i was pretty pretty big child as well so <laughs> you're the perfect so, rugby player yeah, it was sort of my calling, really. Something to channel my energy was massively important. And rugby, rugby was great for me because I'm not particularly academic. Um, I struggled at school. Um, I'm dyslexic. So. It's, it's not, not not just saying as well that you just played rugby because you you got obviously you obviously had a a knack for it as well. Obviously making it into the national setup as well and being able to progress with that with that system uh, as well so it's not just saying oh I played rugby like on a Saturday afternoon with my mates and that was it so it was obviously a, a strong talent for it as well is that just something what made it go right way through and you thought to yourself right okay I'm going to be I'm going to go pro I'm going to stick with that and play for the Tigers or, or, or whatever yeah I, I I didn't really have any other option rugby was quite a calling that, <laughs> that was it really I, I really struggled at school I, I didn't really have much going for me so rugby was rugby was my calling I, I absolutely loved it from then on really so and to be in with a team like Leicester as well because Leicester especially at that time were the dominant force in Northern Hemisphere rugby weren't they so as, as club teams go I'm assuming it was quite a uh you grew up quite quickly being around some of the characters in and around that club. I played for Tigers under twenty ones when I was seventeen years old, so um, <laughs> that was that was pretty tough. And then and then I, I just saw like the, the icons of the game, like Martin Johnson and Austin Healy and Lewis Moody and all those guys. So um, and, and Wig uh, Graham Roundtree, they were great. You know they. Had to earn your stripes. They didn't really talk to you, to be honest with you. Uh, and you had to mm. earn your stripes and just crack on. Um, Tuesday was Fight Club um, in the academy. <laughs> is that uh, is that a real thing, to Fight Club at, at Leicester? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, what is it? So what is it then? What is it then? Is it is it exactly what it sounds like? Yeah, we we, we used to maul. Um, I don't know if anyone knows what maul is. Um, That's basically an organised fight, right? <laughs> yeah, we we, we, had, we split the teams in half, and then we just basically just chuck the ball in the middle, and then we just used to kick the crap out of each other. So. <laughs> <laughs>